In this last session, we're going to take a look at a few details that were too small to warrant a whole session on their own. First, I'd like to look at reports. Right here in the nav is a section called reports. And this basically just gives you information about everything that has happened with your Paid Memberships Pro site. You can see here that all time I've had $10 in sales. This year $10, this month $10, and today $10. Which means it's been a bad year. However, as you get regular traffic, these numbers will grow. You can click Details, and it will show you some excellent graphs. And you can filter for more specific information. Over here we have Views, Visits, and Logins, which are exactly what they sound like. And again, you can click, and then you can get information about specific users. You can also filter this to show different options. And then there are membership stats, signups, cancellations, and other stats. And again, this can be filtered. This is a good way to get a pulse on how your site is doing over time. Another thing I want to talk about that is completely unrelated is website caching. Website caching is a process where the server makes some static HTML versions of your site and serves them instead of the WordPress versions. This can make your site much, much, much faster and is strongly recommended. However, the Paid Membership Pro pages are fairly dynamic and should not be cached because the static HTML versions won't work. If you go to the Paid Memberships Pro page and log in for the free documentation, there's a page just on using caching plugins with Paid Memberships Pro. And it talks about how to use individual caching plugins. It says you need to exclude all PM Pro generated pages from your cache. With W3 Total Cache, you can add a rule like this. Then you need to disable caching for logged in users or exclude caching on all member protected content. Then you need to disable caching for the webhook or IPN URL used for your payment gateway. Otherwise, you won't be able to accept payments. Now, there's an excellent couple of paragraphs here on what this is going to do to your site. It's going to make things slower. And then there's a section that suggests some tips on how to get around the problem of being slow while still not doing whole page caching. This isn't just a problem with Paid Memberships Pro, nor even just with WordPress. Anytime you have a site that has dynamic content, you're going to struggle with caching. Because the whole point of caching is to save a single version to serve to everyone. And with Paid Memberships Pro or a bulletin board system or an e-commerce platform, you want to serve different information to every person, probably on every page load. So this is a difficult problem, and I strongly recommend you read through this page in detail to figure out how you want to handle caching with your site. The last thing I want to look at are add-ons. These four are right in the WordPress repository. In the session about emails, I mentioned that there were ways to make it easier to edit the email templates. Right here is an add-on that adds a nice little window for managing what the emails say. The third-party integration ones can be particularly useful because they're usually made by the people who have the software that it's interacting with. For example, Constant Contact created this Constant Contact add-on, and Aweber made their own, and MailChimp made their own. These particular plugins can greatly enhance your ability to communicate with your users, and good communication is going to generate sales. Here's a recommended plugin. It's not even a Paid Memberships Pro plugin, it's just a WordPress plugin, but it can make your login page look much more attractive, and that is also going to generate sales. Now these plugins are on GitHub which means you'll have to go to GitHub, download the zip file, and upload the plugin manually. But many of them are worth it. For example, here we have Network and Network Subsite Helper. Using this, you can actually sell entire websites to end users. So they can sign up for their own website, similar to WordPress.com. Here's a registration helper, user pages, and all kinds of things. The code gists 
are actually just chunks of code that you can copy and paste either into your own plugin or your themes functions.php. This one disables all or specific emails sent by the PM Pro plugin. And this one requires a discount code to check out for a specific level. So not only is it possible to have a discount code, you're required to have it. Which means then that people can only sign up if they have the super secret code. You should read through these because they can greatly enhance the functionality of your site, the attractiveness of your site. And both of those things are going to increase sales.